Uh, welcome to our Megalodon exhibit. This is a temporary exhibit we have here at the Virginia Aquarium. It shows you everything you want to know about the Megalodon, which is a prehistoric shark. It got up to 60 feet long, basically it was very dangerous, it had large teeth. Where you find these Megalodon teeth, Megalodon teeth are actually fairly common, they're found all over the world. A shark you, goes through many sets of teeth through its life. To help educate everybody about shark teeth, we set up these various stations showing you all the different aspects of shark teeth, showing you different shapes, what little different features, what they mean. And we have a large variety of shark's teeth here in drawers. We have the mega tooth shark, showing you the large ones all the way to, like I said, small tooth with very small serrations. And basically by the shape, serrations, and other little factors, we can see what the animals eat, estimate how big they got, and find a lot of information. So it even comes with a magnifying glass, you can look at details of all the different teeth we have available. We can find out a lot about how the megalodon lived, what it ate, and other sharks that uh, lived with it. Here we have representation of four different models of megalodon jaws, starting from like a youngster all the way up to a full-size adult. Though actually they got bigger than that full-size adult, so that's not as the maximum size they get. Obviously as the shark starts off small and grows up bigger, and also shows the different sizes of teeth that are in the jaw, and the different rows showing the conveyor belt as the shark loses one tooth, another tooth rotates into position. Obviously a shark this big has to eat a lot of food. And give you a, just a representation of how much they ate, Right here we have a stack of tuna cans telling you how much an average megalodon ate in one day. It's approximately 2,500 pounds of food. Because of basically the shape of the megalodon's tooth, which is kind of like a steak knife, it basically was designed to take big chunks out of a large animal, such as a large whale. So they were not, not eating little fish, they're taking chunks out of big fish. Another exhibit we have looks at other prehistoric sharks that had some very unique shapes and adaptations. One of the most strange looking one is this scissors tooth shark we have that basically on upper and lower jaw just had one row of teeth in the middle almost looking like a pair of scissors but based on um, the fossils we determined that they were they did not close like a pair of scissors the wear patterns indicate that it was not how it was used so we're guessing that basically they moved their their mouth up and down or side to side in a school of fish kind of stunning them and, and eating up the scraps but uh, we're still just like taking a guess we really don't know and then we talk a little bit about basically modern sharks, showing all the different variety of sharks that are out there. Some are very unique, not what you consider your standard shark body. This display here shows you about other sharks that are closely related to Megalodon, showing the evolution of sharks before Megalodon and afterwards, and find all this information about animals being related. Now unfortunately with the tooth, we can't get all the information we can, and scientists are still kind of um, conflicted about which current modern shark is close, more closely related to Megalodon. Most scientists believe that it's closely related to the current great white shark, but some scientists believe it's more closely related to the mako shark. So based on a tooth, it's kind of a controversy that's probably going to go on for a long time, but it, it keeps things interesting. We have lots of exhibits that talk about all the different aspects of the megalodon, how we figured out how long ago it lived, how big it gets. We are in the belly of our Megalodon model, showing you how huge it is, 60 feet long, wide enough for four or five people to walk through it, just an amazing size animal. And like I said, the stuff you can learn just from looking mostly at teeth, uh, we've learned all about the Megalodon and about how it lived and how it went extinct. So telling you a little bit about the plight of modern sharks too. So this exhibit is at the Virginia Aquarium until February 19th, that's true uh, President's Day weekend. So. Please come by and visit us. It won't be around for that long.